Mr. Speaker, I rise to welcome Liape Nin Atzili to Washington, D.C., who is visiting the White House today to advocate for the safe return of all Israeli hostages being held by Hamas. Liat, a dual American Israeli citizen, and her husband, Aviv, were violently taken hostage by Hamas on October 7th from their kibbutz near Oz. Liat's extended family lives in Waterford, Connecticut. She has, in fact, visited that coastal town just weeks before the October 7th attack. When her co cousin and Waterford resident, Jerry Fisher, learned that Liat and her husband were kidnapped, he immediately called me on the morning of October 8th. Within a, just a few hours, my chief of staff, Ayanti Grant, set up Liat and Aviv as missing person cases to the U.S. State Department and the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem, immediately putting those agencies into action. Over the following weeks, those agencies worked with the Atzili family closely to ensure that her, her release was a top priority for the administration. Thanks to President Biden and Secretary Blinken's persistent diplomatic efforts, Liat was released 53 days later alongside 104 other hostages taken during that week-long ceasefire last November. Unfortunately, hours after Liat's release, she was informed that her husband, Aviv, had been murdered by Hamas on October 7th. The relief and joy that she and her family experienced upon her release was abruptly replaced by grief and sadness. Despite her traumatic loss, Liat is here today in Washington as a living, breathing example of what the diplomacy and negotiation can achieve. She wants to make sure that every other hostage gets the same result that she did. I thank Liat, her, her father, Yehuda Benin, and her cousin, Jerry Fisher, for using so for cap or taking this horrific experience to, to, to then turn around and call for a just and lasting peace in Palestine and Israel. I yield back, Mr. Speaker.